This video will show you how to fill a liquid into a sphere in Blender, please watch to the very end. When you open Blender, first select the default cube and press delete to delete it. Press Shift A and add an ICO sphere. Come down here to the settings panel and reduce the subdivisions to 1. Now press S to scale it down. Press Shift A again and add a cube. Turn this to wireframe view for us to clearly see what we are doing. I'll press S again to reduce the size of the ICO sphere more. Press Shift A and add a UV sphere. Press S to scale it down a little so that it's not touching the edges of the cube. Select the ICO sphere and come to the physics properties and add a fluid physics. Under type select flow and set the flow type to liquid then flow behavior to inflow. Select the UV sphere and give it a fluid physics too. Under type choose a vector, the rest of the settings are okay. Select the cube and also give it a fluid physics. Under type choose domain and set the domain type to liquid. Now if I play it nothing happens. To fix this issue first select the UV sphere and press tab to go to the edit mode. Go to mesh, look for normals then flip normal. Now if you press tab then go back to the object mode and play it you can see that the fluid is now pouring out but it's not really being filled inside the sphere. To fix that select the sphere and come to the physics settings and activate is planar. Now come to frame 1 and play it. If you play it you can see that nothing is really happening. This is because the flow object can't release a fluid since air can't move in and out of this effector object so there is no room for the fluid to flow. To fix that press tab to go to the edit mode. Select this vertex and delete it to create a hole for air movement. Now go back to the object mode. Press the space button to play the simulation. Now if you look closely you can see that our issue is sorted. Now select the domain object. Come here and increase its resolution to 96. Scroll down and activate mesh then come to cache and change type from replay to all. Make sure you activate is resumable if it is not activated. You can reduce the simulation frame to 100. Now click on bake all to bake the simulation. Now if you play it you can see the result is looking good. So press Shift A and add a UV sphere. Come to the settings panel and increase its segments to 64 and rings to 32. Go to the modifier properties and give it a solidify modifier. Increase the thickness to 0.4. Now select the fluid object and give it a boolean modifier. Click on the eyedropper on object and select the UV sphere. You can select the UV sphere and press S to scale the object so that it covers the outermost irregularities of Manta Flow. Now switch to the Render Preview. Come to Render Properties and switch to Cycles. Select the sphere and go to Object then Shade it Smooth. Expand this area and change it to a Shader Editor. Click on New to add a new material. Select the principled BSDF shader and press delete to delete it. Press shift to then add a glass shader. Go to the outliner and select this other sphere then disable its viewport and render visibility. Select the ICO sphere too then disable its viewport and render visibility. Select the fluid object then click here on new to add a new material. Come to this drop down arrow and deactivate scene world. Come back to the shader editor and delete the principled BSDF shader, then press Shift A to add a glass shader. Give it a color of your liking. Switch this to world and press Shift to then add an environment texture. Go to open and give it a nice HDRI, then render the animation. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate. If you found this video useful please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss out on our latest content. 
Also let us know what you want us to teach you about Blender in the comments, I promise we'll make a video. Have fun animating, I sign out.